video dead gaming comment rate and subscribe for free cake right hello there fellow battlefield fans this is video dead welcome to the second video in my battlefield 5 wishlist series i just want to quickly give a return shout out to a mate of mine who i've met through youtube called prodigio pete he does a lot of battlefield 4 videos uh, he's a really nice guy and he's very clued up as to what is happening in the battlefield community and if you want to be clued up then you should definitely go and check out his channel watch his videos give him some appreciation and in this video i'm going to talk about my preferred setting and time period that i would like to see in the next battlefield title now I know it's obviously too little too late and the game is well under development and you know anything I say is not going to affect the outcome of the game whatsoever being as that I am a small YouTuber but you know I just want to get it off my chest anyway so there's been a lot of buzz and speculation in the vocal side of the Battlefield community about the preferred setting for the next game to be a World War II setting. But I personally wouldn't really like the idea of that too much. And let me explain why. You know, if you are one of these people that is all up for a World War II battlefield game, don't just hit the dislike button and move on. Please hear what I have to say. So firstly, you know, I do acknowledge that World War II is a very iconic setting for a video game. It's real history. A lot of people are enamoured with this idea of fighting certain battles, storming the beach at D-Day and all that kind of stuff, flying a Spitfire, driving a Tiger tank, all that jazz. But I just think once that nostalgia smoke has risen and we are seeing the game as it is, you know, it's a game that has to withstand the rigours of a huge multiplayer community that are going to critique it at every possible turn. Uh, I just think the lack of weapon customization, the lack of weapons, uh, you know, the lack of scopes on guns, I think it's going to be a little bit too limited to last however long it's going to have to last. You know, Battlefield 4 will have been played for three years round about there once the new Battlefield game is out, and that's quite a long time. So let's imagine the next Battlefield is going to have to last for three years. I think having very limited guns and very limited attachments and stuff like that is just going to get a bit boring a bit too quickly, I think. Another reason I wouldn't like the World War II setting is simply the lack of helicopters. I love to fly a helicopter in Battlefield and World War II, you know, there's no combat helis. There was barely any transport helicopters. I mean, helicopters were just a kind of experimental thing at the time and certainly nothing was kitted out to survive any kind of combat. So that would be a big part of Battlefield removed that I wouldn't really like too much. Also, I think a lot of people complain about mortars and grenades, spam and stuff like that in Battlefield. And World War II combat did centre a lot around blowing the crap out of an area with artillery and mortars and then moving the troops in. And I think a big part of World War II combat is going to be indirect fire, high explosive weapons. And that is going to piss a lot of people off, you know, if that is included in the game, which it should be if it's a World War II game, after all. So let's just consider that aspect of it. I think my preferred setting for the next Battlefield game would be probably late 20th century sort of Cold War era that kind of thing because you're still going to get plenty of tanks and there's going to be a bit of tech but not too much as de there'll definitely be helicopters there'll be a few gun attachments and sights and that but nothing too crazy and high tech and I think you know it would be a kind of a bit of a stripped down version of Battlefield 4 which would be great because then they could uh, concentrate more on gameplay mechanics and 
possibly some new ideas to implement in the game and stuff like that. They wouldn't get bogged down in all this, you know, high-tech gadgetry and stuff. So yeah, I am in favour of a Cold War era battlefield experience. I also, you know, I wouldn't be too averse to another modern shooter. I think, again, as long as they don't go too heavy on the gadgetry and stuff like that, I think maybe, you know, just implement some new mechanics to make the game better. Uh, this is something I'm going to focus on in my next wishlist video. Uh, you know, game mechanics and stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Uh, I also wouldn't mind a futuristic battlefield. I know a lot of the vocal community is against that idea because I think there's too many of those kicking around at the moment. But, you know, let's, let's remember this is Battlefield, you know. There are a lot of futuristic shooters about, but there is not a futuristic Battlefield about. Except, of course, 2142. But that is pretty old now. And I think if they were to do it, they would handle it really well. I have heard a rumour that it is going to be a futuristic one. And this doesn't bother me too much. I am just going to keep my mind open to what the next Battlefield is going to be. Even if it is World War II, I will still buy it and probably play it to death. World War II is just my least preferred setting. So let us all keep our minds open as to what the next game is going to be. And maybe the setting isn't too important as long as the core gameplay is solid and enjoyable. And that just leaves me to thank you guys very much for listening to my opinions on this matter. If you agree, please hit that like button. Tell me in the comments that you agree. And if you disagree, you know, feel free to hit that dislike button. But please at least have the honour to tell me why you've hit that dislike. So once again guys, thank you very much for your time. And I will see you in the next video.